In this video, we're going to learn how to use the GitHub CLI tool to manage typical GitHub issues workflows that we might encounter in our typical day-to-day -day work. We'll see how to search for a specific issue, list out all issues assigned to us, and a number of other common workflows. I'll also be sharing a few command aliases that you can use at the command line to simplify some of these more complex commands. And it's all coming up right after this. Hey devs, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Nate, and this channel is dedicated to building great software and helping you do the same. So if you wanna stay up to date with future tutorials and tips and tricks, you can click the subscribe button for future updates. Now, if you're managing your projects, issues, and tasks using GitHub issues, then a very regular part of your workflow is probably working with those issues in some way. You're probably uh, listing out issues, filtering them, and even creating new issues on a regular basis. With GitHub CLI, we can start to do a number of these tasks right from the command line. So we're gonna walk through some of the common GitHub issues workflows that we might be familiar with and see how to accomplish them from the command line using GitHub CLI. And just so we're all on the same page, we're using version 0.5.7 of GitHub CLI. If you are using that version of the tool, then everything in this tutorial should make sense. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to our terminal and start walking through these workflows. So here we've opened up the terminal window and I've opened up into the project we're gonna use for this demo. This is a repository I have on GitHub called GitHub Actions Automation Sandbox. Now let's imagine I'm just sitting down at my computer for the day, I've opened up the terminal and I wanna list out the open GitHub issues for the project. I could do that by typing gh, issue list. And we'll see here it's listed out five or so issues for this project. We see the, the title of the issue as well as any associated labels with that issue. Now that listed out the open issues for us, but what about if we wanted to list out all of the issues in our project? We could do that by typing gh issue list dash dash state and then passing in the all string. So you see here, this is showing us now six issues. And you can see that issue number 12 called sample bug has a red label to it, indicating that that has been closed. And so let's look at that command one more time. So gh issue list is the standard uh, list command to list out all the issues, but we've used the state flag to basically pass in the state of all. We could simplify this Instead of saying dash dash state, we could do dash s all. And we'll see once again, we get the same result. Now, maybe we've realized that this is too many issues to sort through. If you have a larger project, you might have 50 issues, 100 issues, even more issues. So you might want to filter these down in some more meaningful way. So let's say we decide we only want to list the issues that are currently assigned to us. So we could do that by typing gh issue list dash dash and then this time we're going to use the assignee flag this lets us pass in a string representing a github username in this case i'm using my github username once i hit enter i'll see only one issue returned so i can see that i only have one issue currently assigned to me and just like before we could use this short form of gh issue list dash a and once again pass in my github username Next, let's say we want to check in on the status of a couple other issues that we created yesterday. Maybe we don't remember their exact numbers, but since we created them, we can use the status command to list them at the terminal. To do that, we can type gh issue status. We'll see here now that we've gotten a larger list of these issues, but they're split out into three categories. We see issues assigned to you. In this case, again, I just have that one issue issues mentioning you. In this case, I don't have any issues mentioning me. And then issues open by you. So here now I can see, oh, I've created these five other issues and I can see that they're all still currently open. After checking in on these issues, maybe we still can't find the issue we're looking for. So we might wanna check to make sure uh, that the issue wasn't closed out or maybe to see if someone else already fixed it for us. So in that case, we could do gh issue list 
Once again, we'll do dash dash state, and this time we're gonna look for closed issues. And we'll see this time I've gotten back just sample bug, which is the only closed issue for this project. That's great, our issue has been closed, so now we're ready to find our next task. We can start looking for new tasks by listing out issues filtered by different labels. To list out all of our open bugs, we could filter by the bug label to find in our GitHub repo. To do that, we could use gh issue list dash dash label. So we're using the label flag here. We then specify a string of that label. Once I hit enter, we'll see here it's returned to me a single bug that has that bug label. And again, we could use the short version by saying gh issue list dash l bug and we get the same result. If you're unaware of what labels are available for your open issues, you could first check this by listing all of the open issues again. So once again, we'll do gh issue list, and notice over on the right-hand side, we see bug as one label, and then we also see enhancement as another label. So let's say we wanna find all the enhancement issues. We could do that by typing gh issue list dash l enhancement. Well, see here, we have two different issues we could choose from. So once we've found an issue that we wanna fix, we might wanna assign that issue to ourselves. Currently, we can't do that directly from the command line using GitHub CLI, but we can quickly open an issue from the command line using the view command. To do that, we can type gh issue view, and we'll type in the number of an issue that we wanna view. So in this case, I'll type in number 15 and I'll hit enter. This will then open up that issue directly into our web browser. So now here, I am free to do anything I need to with this issue. Now that might include assigning this issue to myself. So here I can come over to the assigning and I'll see that, okay, I'm already assigned to this. So that's perfect. However, if you hadn't been assigned to this, maybe I'll just clear this. You could come over here, click assign yourself, and there you are, now you're assigned to this issue. After assigning any issues to yourself, you can double check your assignments from the command line by listing out open bugs assigned to you. So to do this more complex filtering, we could use gh issue list, and then we'll do dash a for the assignee, and then dash l for the bug label. So this is gonna give us back a list of all issues assigned to me that have the bug label. And if I hit enter, I'll see, okay, it's just this one single issue yet again. Now, we just have one last command that we want to explore. As we're working on our assigned issues, imagine we find an additional bug that we need to report. We can use the gh issue create command to create new GitHub issues directly from the command line. To do that, we'll type gh issue create. Using this command as it is, We'll kick off this interactive terminal workflow and it'll start off by allowing us to select between any existing GitHub issue templates. Once we select a template, in this case bug report, it'll walk us through the process of filling in our title. In this case, I'll just call it a sample title. I'll hit enter. Then it'll prompt us to update the body or hit enter to skip. So in this case, I'll just hit enter. And then we have the option to either preview this issue in the browser, submit it, or cancel it. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. Now you could also specify the title and body all as a part of the command from the terminal and avoid the interactive prompt. To do that, we can combine them all together by typing gh issue create dash t for title dash b for body, and then we'll hit enter, and we'll see it has created issue number 17. So now if I type gh issue view 17, it's now opened me directly into that newly created issue, and we'll see my title is title and my body is body. If you still prefer to create your issue from the web, you could use the following command to open up a browser window and jump right into the issue creation workflow in your repo. So we'll type gh issue create dash dash web and hit enter. This will open us up into our repository within GitHub in the browser. 
You're gonna see here because I have some GitHub issue templates created, it starts me off right here. And from here, I can go ahead and create a new GitHub issue as I might normally be comfortable with. So with these various command and flag variations, we have quite a few options for creating, listing, and viewing our GitHub issues. We can make these commands even easier to work with by creating some command line aliases for them. For example, when listing out all bugs, we would use the gh issue list dash dash label bug command. However, if we wanted to simplify this, we could create an alias for it. We could do something like this, alias list bugs equals gh issue list dash dash label bug. We hit enter. So now if we simply type list bugs from the command line, it's gonna execute that larger command and list out all of our bugs. So this has made it much quicker for us and less error prone to list out all of those bugs. Another example would be when we want to list out all the bugs assigned to us. So again, that command looks like this, gh issue list dash a, my username dash l bug. And see there, all the bugs assigned to me. To do an alias for this, we could type alias. This time we'll call it list my bugs equals gh issue list dash a and eight evil dash l bug. We'll hit enter. And now if we type list my bugs, we'll see all of the bugs currently assigned to me. So again, that's just a couple of examples of how we can simplify these GitHub CLI commands using some simple command line aliases, which hopefully will make the process a little bit smoother for you. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully this walkthrough has helped given you a good idea of what you can accomplish from the command line using GitHub CLI to manage common GitHub issues workflows. What do you think about GitHub CLI? Is this something that you think you would use? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching devs. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time devs.